Hello, friends. Welcome to Noonish Prayer for uh, Saturday, July the 4th. Happy Independence Day, everyone. Hope that, hope that you're having a, a good holiday. Uh, hope that you are being safe and that you are keeping uh, not only your own safety and well-being, but that of others in your family and in your community uh, as, in mind as well. Uh, I know it's not the kind of 4th of July that we're used to having, um, but uh, let's be able to find ways to, to celebrate the day, um, but to do it safely. Because it is the 4th of July, I thought I would uh, change up the format just a little bit today. Uh, I'm going to offer you two readings uh, that are in our Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymn Book that uh, are suggested for a, a national holiday. And so I will be sharing those with you rather than our what we've been doing, which is reading through the book of Acts together. So um, hope that will be meaningful to you. Uh, reminder that it's Saturday, which uh, means that tomorrow, Sunday, is the Lord's Day. And I hope that you will are planning now to join us uh, for worship at 9.30 tomorrow. Uh, if you'd like to join in when uh, we're encouraging most folks to participate. But if you can't join us at 9.30, of course, you can join us at uh, any other time uh, through the, the magic and the wonders of the Internet. So, uh, But one way or another, please join us for worship. And also, please be encouraged to join us for coffee hour at 10.30 tomorrow morning. Now, that is something that you will have to do at 1030, of course, because it's a live Zoom event. Uh, please consider joining us. Our numbers have been uh, dwindling off as of late. Uh, I imagine that's probably because we've had some, some nice summer Sundays and people perhaps are in the middle of, of doing other things in their day. But please try to make an effort to join us. Uh, even if you don't feel the need to see all of us, uh, there are many of us who would dearly love to see your beloved faces and to hear your voices. So please, please consider joining us for coffee hour tomorrow at 1030. And now let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So then, two readings today from Scripture, those uh, two of the four that were recommended in ELW, Evangelical Lutheran Worship, for a celebration of a national holiday. The first being from Romans chapter 13. St. Paul writes, let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those authorities that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good contact, conduct, but to bad. Do you wish to have no fear of the authority? Then do what is good and you will receive its approval, for it is God's servant for your good. But if you do what is wrong, you should be afraid, for the authority does not bear the sword in vain. It is the servant of God to execute wrath on the wrongdoer. 
Therefore, one must be subject, not only because of wrath, but also because of conscience. For the same reason, you also pay taxes. For the authorities are God's servants, busy with this very thing. Pay to all what is due them, taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, respect to whom respect is due, honor to whom honor is due. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Here ends today's first reading. The second reading then today is from the Gospel according to St. Mark, the 12th chapter beginning at the 13th verse. Then they sent to Jesus some Pharisees and some Herodians to trap him in what he said. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me see it. And they brought one. Then he said to them, Whose head is this, and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Jesus said to them, Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. Here ends the reading of the Gospel. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord of all the worlds, guide this nation by your Spirit to go forward in justice and freedom. Give to all our people the blessings of well-being and harmony. But above all things, give us faith in you, that our nation may bring glory to your name and blessings to all peoples. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us in this day by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>